Motor Week is made possible by Rock Auto, Tire Rack, and Die Hard. Honda's American heritage of selling small, roomy, fuel-efficient cars that last almost forever is well known. Right from the first Civic 40 years ago, Honda's subcompact and compact cars have always provided more in less. But today it's the Honda Fit that carries the banner of maximizing everything but its shadow. And while the all-new third generation Fit has changed quite a bit, let's see if it's more fit than ever. We've always considered the Honda Fit to be a small car that thought outside the traditional subcompact box. Its five-door shell surrounds an unusually airy interior that has proven to be as versatile as a small utility. Plus, driving the Fit was not only economical, but fun, an attribute most rivals lack. Well, that formula is more than intact with the all-new third-generation Fit. In fact, we'll say the 2015 Fit actually expands on itself. That moreness starts with additional power. There's still a 1.5 liter I-4 in place, but it's a new direct injected mill with 130 horsepower, 13 more than before. Torque is cranked up eight to 114 pound-feet. It joins the Honda Earth Dreams lineup with updated transmissions. The standard manual is now a six-speed and the automatic is now a CVT. That dream is realized in better fuel economy at 33 city, 41 highway, and 36 combined for the CVT, tops for its interior size. This hatchback's exterior theme remains the same, but the shape has been hit heavily with a buffer. It's smoother with more sculpting to the upsweeping body sides, giving an overall sleeker, more dynamic look. As for its shadow, there's more wheelbase and width, but overall length is actually less by an inch and a half. The rear now sports a thick, full-width chrome strip connecting the LED taillights, with red reflectors up both sides of the back glass to a hatch-top spoiler. A very aggressive-looking rear bumper lies below. Standard are 15-inch wheels, EX riding on 16s. While that's unchanged, the Fit's more fun to drive than it should be quotient actually grows. The unibody adds rigidity, and while the basic front strut and rear trailing arm suspension design remains, it has been totally reworked with updated components and geometry. Along with more precise handling, ride comfort also takes a turn for the better. Honda claims a big improvement in overall driving refinement, and after our initial drive at Honda's press launch in San Diego, California, we concur. Except for maybe the new CVT transmission. Unlike the CVT and the Accord, which operates pretty quietly, in the fit it just makes for a lot more noise as you move up to speed. On the other hand, we found the six-bean manual a great improvement with short throws and a sporty feel. But the biggest uptick in the new fit is the additional interior room. While you do get a sense of it up front, it's really apparent in the rear. A 1.2 inch gain in wheelbase expands to over four inches more legroom with additional headroom. You have to sit in it to believe it. The fit signature multi-folding magic seat remains. It's always been one of our favorite fit features, allowing for some unique storage and seating options. But something had to give. The added legroom does cut cargo space by 20% to 16.6 .6 cubic feet when all seats are filled. Still seats flat, Fit's max cargo room of 52.7 is hard to beat with anything that's not a crossover. A three dial gauge setup carries over too, but the center speedometer is larger and all information is presented more clearly. Though the interior presentation is still monochromatic and not overly inviting, there's plenty more when it comes to standard features with a multi-view backup camera and Bluetooth included. And definitely more luxury and safety options with lane watch, seven inch display audio and push button start all available. You can even get your new fit with leather. Honda Link allows for even more smartphone integration and you do it more seamlessly. iPhone users can even talk to Siri, but we'll need a little more time with it to see just how much better it truly is. 
As before, analog controls are large, logically placed, and easy to use. Much was publicized about the previous generation FIT's poor IIHS score due to the new small overlap frontal crash test. Well, Honda took that as seriously as potential buyers and expects this FIT's new ACE body structure with additional high strength steel to ACE that test without a problem. Honda has made significant investments in the new FIT, bringing assembly to North America at a brand new plant in Mexico. But even with that expenditure, they've contained base prices. It's barely increased to $16,355 for a manual. The top line EXL Navi goes for $21,630. The 2015 Honda Fit is indeed more fit and will truly fit into many more lifestyles. It provides great versatility and practicality, along with a surprising splash of fun, and now even more so. And aside from that loud CVT, the 2015 Honda Fit has the fitting formula for even more success.